Hi guys and welcome to another video. So to make a game you need to get uh, some help. So this is a game engine. A game engine is uh, people make this a lot of things for you. So you can just use their existing code. It's open source. Um, so it's not definitely not copyright. So they will help you make a lot of things. Okay? So this engine is called Phaser. So I think it's one of the most popular uh, HTML game engine for 2D kind of game. So it has a lot of features. Um, Animation. Yeah, so, so we'll use some of those uh, in the future episodes to make the, the game. So it has time maps. It's got the uh, sprites, it's got physics, it's got the uh, animation, camera, all those necessary things. Okay. Also, uh, if you want, it can um, help you release to the mobile app as well. Um, so, yeah, if you have time, well, you, can have a, yeah, you can have a look. I want to play that. To start this project, we also want to make it a, a more formal kind of object, uh, project. Before, we're just making websites in a very, uh, what do you call it? ancient way <laughs> it's not <laughs> modern <laughs> so the, the modern um, way of javascript and html but why would it be asian when that Sorry. time computers weren't invented <laughs> it's not asian it's just a uh, old school or like 10 years ago classic 20, or even like 20 years ago people do things straight up well that's classic classic <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so in old days, they, they, people do things in plain uh, HTML, plain JS, plain CSS. But nowadays, there are a lot of tools and framework to help you make better um, HTML, CSS, whatever. In the previous episodes, I didn't teach you too much about the JavaScript, right? I didn't teach you too much about the CSS because in a modern world, you don't use pure CSS or pure JavaScript. You also always use other people's library. Um, so to use this kind of modern JavaScript and stuff, uh, we will use something to build the, the code, to compile the code. So today we'll try to do that. So there's a tool to help you uh, install JavaScript kind of environment and uh, libraries. This tool is called Node.js. Node.js is like server-side JavaScript. But to use Node.js, we still will first need to install this called uh, tool called NVM. So this one help you manage your Node version on your computer. So to install it, it's pretty straightforward. You just copy, go to their GitHub, copy this install. So let's do it. To, Can we do the command? To install it. Let's see if it works. So after you install, it will tell you to put this into the um, into the one of the the startup place. If you don't have this file, you can just create it and put those lines in, in there. Okay. So once it's done, you can restart your uh, your terminal, and then you can use the VM to find this command. So once you have this. Uh, wow, NVM. that's a lot of code. Yeah, don't worry about all those. Basically, one code. thing we just we need to do is install. The latest, current latest version is 18. So we just do nvm install 18. And that's, that's it, it will be installed. So I've already done that for you. So after you've installed it, uh, when you type node, it should show something about the node version, okay? So this is the command line thing. It will install node for you. Once we have this, um, today just for to make it easier, I find the type template to start the phaser, phaser 3. Um, this one also is open source. We can just copy a clone from, from this repository to, uh, to use it. So is this like a gaming website? This is a, another YouTuber who teaches gaming. Um, he's got this template. So inside this template, <laughs> got super tummy. <laughs> so inside this, inside this uh, template, uh, we use several 
very useful techniques. Y is called um, so why is it called Vite.js? Vite.js is something to help you compile your, your files. The other is called uh, TypeScript. TypeScript is a uh, enhanced JavaScript. So it's JavaScript, but better than JavaScript. It's got uh, more feature than JavaScript, but um, still keeps some uh, Disadvantages. JavaScript taste things. Disadvantage um, is if there's a, a Longer learning curve, it's, it's not that easy. So, but uh, you will get a lot of benefits. So, um, so this template, it's already configured to use YJS to do the build. What should be the name for your game? Actually, we don't know what to call it. I don't know. <laughs> Nah, that sounds lame. Lame, that's real. Lame sounds lame. <laughs> Very if, lame. If you don't have a better name, I'll just use this one. Let's just call this a lame RPG. <laughs> Do you know what this, this word mean? What does it mean? It's near the other backwards. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hero's name. A good idea. <laughs> How about I don't want it to Okay then since since the opposite of me is gonna be stupid because currently <laughs> I'm really smart. So he's basically like an opposite. Yeah, that's good. Is lame again. <laughs> Let's just RPG. call it this. I think calling it like a lame game will get people's attraction like it's probably gonna definitely not be lame <laughs> because usually when it's you know, it's lame, usually it's actually not lame. Sorry, that was the wrong template. So the type square template is this so one. So don't cut that part out now. <laughs> so the the one we just did was the normal JavaScript template. Uh, there's another one called TypeScript by template. So. Uh, for us, we will use this one. Okay, so how the npm install it works? Is it reads this file package.json? It finds all those uh, dependencies. Uh, for those dependencies, it will install all those one by one for you when you run npm install. And it will put all those code in this folder. Just in case. So there are a lot of code has been installed. Yeah? Uh... So those are all the library code and other people's code. Uh, we will use some of those. But um, that's why we put in the git ignore to ignore this folder, because mm. usually people install that folder by themselves. Okay. Um, so this template, how it works, is um, it's got the uh, TypeScript configuration already. It's got um, the write configuration already. So here, it configured the write to run on your local host on um, 8,000 ports, which means uh, if you uh, on their website, on their Git, GitHub, they also told 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 you how to do this. So you just do npm run start. You will run this local server on your on your computer. So if you visit this address in your browser, nothing happened. Okay. You it will show this uh, hello world kind of phaser. Uh, can I try? No, it th th doesn't do anything. So this is uh, the the basic hello world kind of code. So hello world code, all the code is in this SRC code uh, folder. How did it bounce around? SRC is the full source code. Minecraft. Yeah? So this is the, the hello world source code. So you can see what it does. It's loading an image space. Loading logo, loading whatever those images, 
so you can see what it does is doing this and bounce set the bounce collide the world or this whatever that is <laughs> and we don't we haven't learned this so we don't know how it works but you by looking at their code you can see some of the Sense. very very easy to make this kind of animation already yeah how oh the trail how does that work yeah that's the red thing i think so if we check that image maybe you will have more clue so it said based on this there's a sky image so that's the background apparently yeah so just a, a piece of word and then that's the word how about like the red thing okay so it's just a looks like just a png it just creates clones so the, the this is the animation that the oh, library yeah. does i know how so this the it's actually that the point of the dot where it's always red and that's like the dot there i think it's using this image to make some uh, animation okay cool so it's very powerful it can do a lot of cool things so can we change its code yes so that's the next thing we will do we will use this uh, engine to do your game so we are next in the next episode we will import the map you have made to this engine and make it to render mm -hmm. okay. so uh, i'll think of changing the code and making that bounce around very fast we yeah you can play with the code tonight and we will learn more about uh, um, together yeah. with the game we're make, trying to make we'll learn uh, more about the typescript yeah. the engine the library and all the uh, more um, html web coding stuff so that's all for today so bye guys